The only way that you really truly experience what's happening right now with contemporary music is to be at a place where everybody comes together, all the best people, year after year. It's, it's Cabrillo, and that's why I just, I love it so much. I mean, I, I spend all my, the rest of the year just thinking about what the two weeks at Cabrillo are gonna be like. In the oboe section, it's very much like a family. The section has been together for 15 years, and um, we all came to the festival the same year. Every day that I wake up to play the oboe, you just sort of feel like you don't know if any of your reads are going to work, even though they worked yesterday. I don't know how to explain that any other way, except for it's just this constantly changing thing. As many musicians do, I've moved around a lot. The climate affects the wood. So yeah, humidity makes them swell and dryness makes them shrink. And when you're in Santa Cruz at this festival, all of those things present themselves to you almost in one single day. It's not even that the reed won't work or doesn't work, it's that it might not work. I, I don't, it's like psychological. It's like, yes, last night I went to bed and this morning I woke up and I was nervous and I was like, why? Because I'm like, I don't know what my reeds are gonna do here. There's a lot of preparation into creating my sound. We call it making a read and reading, <laughs> um, or as uh, one friend called it, twig scraping. We spend a lot of time doing that. That's hours and hours and hours, and until you've got something, because if you don't have anything, you don't go to sleep. You stay up and you work on it and you get it done. Sure glad you're here to keep me company. I'm taking forever. You'll spend many nights up in the light of the moon coming in, and scraping away until it's done, until you find something. A lot of P words. Very patient, persistent, and uh, positive. <laughs> The most important thing to understand about the reed and why it's important to make them yourself, it's 100% of what you sound like as an oboist. So you must have complete control, or as much control as you can get, over the type of cane you use and all the exact precise measurements. And reeds don't last. They last about a day or two days before they start changing. And so you constantly have to be making new ones and breaking them in and saving special ones for special concerts. And then when the weather changes, then the, the special ones you have to readjust. And it's a constant game of adjusting and changing in order to um, make your sound what it is. Playing here at the Cabrillo Festival is challenging because the, the music is not what we play every day. A lot of us have been coming here for quite some time. And it's kind of like our family away from home, and we love it. We all look forward to it. I always call this festival my summer crossword puzzle, you know, because I feel like I don't do enough of that kind of brain exercise the whole year. And I come here and it's like my brain is just on fire. And you, you sort of get into this groove of playing weird rhythms and weird note combinations, and it's fun. This is for Cabrillo. This year, Cabrillo 2015. Cheers. 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 <laughs> In the 2009 Cabrillo Festival, I noticed some odd changes in my vision. And I didn't quite know what to make of it, but I just sort of got through the festival. And when I got home, it continued. And then I started getting headaches in pretty quick succession the 
eye doctor did some tests and then I was referred for an MRI and um, and that's when I got the call the next morning that they had found a brain tumor and usually that's the point where people make changes in their lives where they start to think oh maybe I should have done this or I really wanted to be a sailor or you know something but what I found out that what I really wanted to do in life I was already doing I was um, playing in the best contemporary music festival in, in the world <laughs> and uh, I was uh, being an oboist and I was being a composer and uh, everything these are all the things that I wanted to do Marin brings an incredibly special quality to the festival because of her dedication to this repertoire. And composers know that about her and they know who the person to go to to have them have their music conducted and conducted well and conducted right. Everyone is really happy to be a part of this group. We don't take it for granted. That was a big part of, of my recovery period, was just wanting to keep working um, on my recovery so I could eventually get back to Cabrillo, and I made it.